Welcome again. I've got a new toy and it is a musical instrument. It is something that I've already mentioned in one of my previous two videos that were forced vlogs. Um, it is a little synthesizer from Cork and it has already made friends with my Yamaha Reface DX. It is a Cork Volca FM. Absolutely interesting synthesizer because this is a little Yamaha DX7. Although uh, I'm not going to cover uh, all the preset sounds or the features that it has, but I want to specifically show you uh, how the cloning process works or how you can load in patches from audio uh, because the sync port here actually uh, can output audio which you can record and then load back in using the sync input. Uh, and it's a uh, technology used a lot in 1980s home computers when you loaded games from a cassette tape. It is the exact same principle. Uh, it is designed to actually allow two Volca FMs to be um, connected together and that uh, the contents from one Volca FM can be transferred to another. But why um, do it that way if you can just also record it into the computer? However, a lot of people seem to find that difficult, uh, especially when it comes to updating the firmware, because um, also with the Volca sample, a lot of people had difficulties with that. They're using a phone and the output levels may not be right. And that is kind of a problem why a lot of people find that difficult. It has everything to do with the volume levels and, well, effects that you have to disable. And um, if you have an onboard sound card from Realtek, uh, in your PC, then it might have certain audio enhancement effects enabled. All those sort of things can interfere with that process and you have to disable those. So I kind of want to show you how this works and later I also want to kind of go into all the patch parameters if you want to recreate the factory presets. So one of the characteristic features is that uh, you have this sync output and if you plug in an audio cable like this, and I'm going to use a headphone now, and you have different options. Uh, you can choose all programs, which would be all patches, current sequence, all sequences, clone, but also just the current program or all programs. If you just do one program, yeah, that went really quick. So I will show you how to export all of the programs. You press save, and now you can hear the audio coming out of the sync output. So that's that, that's all the programs, and if you recorded it properly, uh, I will show you what it kind of looks like in WaveLab. So this is a recording that I made in WaveLab, and um, when I record it, it's only in mono on the left channel, so you have to copy everything and then also paste it on the right channel, and it has to be stereo 16 bits. Uh, this bit here are the audio sync pulses. Those are unimportant, um, you can probably cut them out. It doesn't really hurt to let those in the recording. And when it comes to the recording level, you see that I kind of have it here at minus three as the kind of peak level. This is a recording that I made of some factory DX7 ROMs. Also at a similar level. And now let's take a look at the uh, official firmware file. So this is a um, official wave file from Cork with uh, the latest factory update, factory firmware update. And you can also see that the maximum loudness level here is also around minus three. So that is kind of important. So now I have saved all my patches and also individual ones as well as well an entire clone. Uh, how do we load that back into the Volca? Well, I'm going to show that now, but the uh, microphone audio will now come from my GoPro because I have to mute my main mic. Um, it has to do with the mixer and the Volca is connected to it. So uh, stuff kind of interferes there. So a very important thing here is that you use a proper audio interface and not a phone or a Realtek um, 
uh, integrated sound card, but just a good audio interface. And I'm using the headphone output with a little headphone amplifier because it allows me to dial in the volume levels quite uh, precisely. So now I'm going to put this cable in the sync input. This I'm actually going to mute. So now I have WaveLab here and I want to import all the factory presets. So we start from the beginning. And if the volume level is not uh, high enough, you'll see that nothing happens. So first I'm going to mute my uh, microphone and you will hear audio from the GoPro now. You see, since the level is not high enough, absolutely nothing happens. But now watch when I dial it up a little bit. And try again. It says import error. That's because the level is not high enough. So I dial it up to a generous amount. And now it is importing properly. If it does this, you know it's going right. So that's all done. I have now imported uh, one of the original Yamaha DX7 factory ROMs, uh, ROM 3A, which has some interesting sounds in it. So a flute sound, a clef sound, famous one, marimba, Whitney Houston's favorite patch comes now. E piano one, and here we have Kenny Loggins's Danger Zone. Also a famous one, fretless bass, and one of my favorites. Those are Yamaha ROMs. Now let's import the factory presets again. So there we go, factory presets. That's all done. And we press function. So it now says import OK. And I have all my factory programs back. Including my favorite sound. Which is called syringe. This one really goes well together with the uh, tubular bell sound on the Reface DX. So there you have it. That is how you load in the um, factory sounds and other sounds that you uh, export using audio. Um, so if you ever have to like restore data and you want to have the factory sounds, well I provide a link in the description where you can um, download some of those cloned programs, at least the factory ones from the Volca FM. This whole process, it just kind of reminds me of something. It reminds me of computer games.
The whole process is no different than loading a game on a cassette with a cassette recorder into a computer. It's the exact same principle, but you just have to understand that the volume levels are kind of critical. Uh, and well, on a phone or a tablet, a headphone amplifier may not be able to output enough loudness. Uh, in fact, it may be software limited to protect your ears because of uh, EU regulations and such. But um, yeah, if you just use a computer with a good uh, audio interface, um, you can make it work perfectly fine. Editing room here. If you have a Realtek uh, audio chipset and you want to use that for uh, capturing the uh, audio from the Volca, be sure to go into the uh, Realtek audio console and disable the uh, EQ and environment enhancement settings. But of course I'm not done yet, because it's now time for spreadsheets. Because I want to recreate all the original factory patches myself using a patch base on the iPad because I find DexAd to be very complicated. But I've already transferred all the patch parameters to a spreadsheet. So let's take a look at the spreadsheets. I will also provide this uh, spreadsheet uh, with a link in the description so that you can transfer all the values yourself if you feel so inclined. Um, so here's some information. These are all the parameters of the Volca FM, and in my spreadsheet I have them in the exact same order, because that's just a lot more efficient when you want to transfer things. Uh, and I have this table here, which is the level scale breakpoint table and the transpose table. And uh, the Volca FM outputs those values from 0 to 99, but uh, a VST like Dexet. Uh, presents the breakpoint in a different way. If I move this slider and you look at the lower left uh, corner of Dexet, you see OP for breakpoint and then a note name. That's a note on the keyboard and it's not a numeric value that the Volca uses because the DX7 and the Volca they just use these numeric values. So this is a little lookup table that tells you which note uh, goes with which value. Same thing for the transpose table and the detune table. Uh, in the Volca the detune goes from 0 to 14, but the Dexet uh, represents that differently. Um, yeah, if I can find it, because Dexet UI is absolutely horrible in my opinion. Um, it's not really user friendly at all and I also had a look at the source code and it is um, poorly documented. <laughs> There's almost no comments in the source code. but um, this value here, tune, this is the detune thing. And in the lower left corner you see that it goes from minus 7 to plus 7. But in Volca uh, terms it's well a positive value. So this is basically your lookup table for the detune. So I've created this patch template and I recommend you use a numeric keypad. Because it makes things very efficient. I actually had the Volca kind of standing here, where I could twist the program parameter knob and then quickly enter values here with a numeric keypad. That's how I did it. So there's already four patches that I've recreated in patch base. Uh, and here are all the values. This is Volcanic, this is the first patch. And it's a lot of values and well there's 32 patches and only the first Four of them I have actually recreated. So let's take a look at patch base. So this here is patch base. Uh, I have a preset for the Reface DX and for the Volca FM. So this is the e-piano patch that I recreated uh, from scratch manually. So as you can see uh, I also have those um, original DX7 factory ROMs in here. So here are all the uh, original factory ROMs. Um, from the DX7. Uh, I just used iCloud to kind of import them because uh, Patchbase supports that. Um, and I am making my own uh, patches. So far I have uh, four of them already done. Currently loaded is syringe. So this is a morph base. Here are all the values and you can switch between the operators 1 to 3 or 4 to 6 with that button. And now Morph Base is loaded here. So yeah, that's basically 
how it all works. So there you have it. Um, I hope this information can be useful to you if you ever want to like clone the data from a computer or if you want to load in uh, the audio files that I provide in the link in the description. Um, data loading on a Volca is no different than loading games from a cassette tape on a 1980s home computer. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye bye.